Vivian, and today we're talking about two books that I read in August that got me thinking about my past and my future and what the heck I would do if I were suddenly able to know things and change things. We're talking about The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler and Give Me a Call by Sarah Melnow. Facebook hasn't been invented yet, and people are really just starting to have computers in their home and email addresses, and AOL, remember AOL, they're giving away all those disks to get the 100 free hours of internet, do you remember this? So the main characters in this book are two high school students, Josh and Emma, and um, Josh gets one of those AOL disks. He gives it to Emma and she downloads it to her computer. And when she goes to open it, she sees this thing called Facebook. And so when she opens that, she's like, what am I looking at? You know, and she thinks that somebody is pranking her because um, what she's looking at looks like uh, it's a website with all of her info in it and a photo of her that is aged so she looks like she's in her 30s instead of like 17 and it's saying all of these things about her future life right she thinks it's a prank turns out it's not a prank and she is actually looking at her facebook page from like 15 years into the future and she's reading what future emma is posting about future emma's life and she does not like what she sees in her future. So she starts doing things to change that future and it works, but then she doesn't like that future. So she just keeps doing things and changing things. And you see throughout the book how the things that she does affect her future and the future of the people around her, right? Um, and, and her friend Josh it has the same sort of thing. Um, so they're both sort of doing things that affect their future. So it's a fun premise, right? So then we've got Give Me a Call, which is a similar sort of book. So high school senior Debbie is at the mall. And she accidentally drops her cell phone in the fountain. So like she wades in after it, but it's waterlogged and ruined, right? She's mashing all the numbers, trying to get it to work. And it finally does call someone, but it calls Debbie, it calls herself three and a half years in the past. So senior in high school, Debbie calls freshman in high school, Debbie. And once they get over the, who is this? No, who is this? No, who is this? What the hell is happening part, right? And they realize that senior Debbie and freshman Debbie are actually talking on the phone. Senior Debbie sees this as her chance to change her life and make it better. So she starts telling freshman Debbie things to do right, to make her life better. And freshman Debbie does them. And senior Debbie's life changes every time freshman Debbie does something. <laughs> it's confusing, right? No. Um, and so some of the things are like changes for the better. And some of them are changes for the worse. And it's all very strange because even though senior Debbie's life is changing, she only has her memories of the actual life that she lived, right? So she's constantly trying to figure out what is going on. 
and she's constantly trying to figure out like, what should I tell freshman Debbie to do to make her life better? So this book also has like a super fun premise, right? So what kinds of things could you talk about at your book club after reading these books? I mean, for sure, you can talk about what Josh and Emma are doing, right? You can talk about whether you think they're doing good things or bad things or like silly waste of time things. You can talk about how the things that they're doing are affecting their relationship in the present um, and how that affects their relationship in the future. And maybe whether they could or should do anything differently. And you could do the same, have the same conversation with freshman Debbie and senior Debbie, right? Did they use their superpower wisely or not? And with both books, you can talk about how it all ended up for everyone, right? At the end of the book, was it a happy ending or not? And did you like the ending or not? But the thing that I love about these books is that they really had me thinking about what I would think and feel and do if I was given that superpower, right? If I was Josh or Emma, or Senior Debbie, what would I do? So the three things I love to discuss with my book club after reading these books are all about putting myself in Josh and Emma and Senior Debbie's shoes. What would I do? What would you do? Three questions, here we go. If high school you were to find your current Facebook page, or Instagram profile, or like whatever social media platform you're using, and they started scrolling through it, what would they think? Would they be like, whoa, what happened here? <laughs> would they be confused, or excited, or happy, or sad, or proud? Like what? What would they think? And if they looked at your friends list, like who would they wonder about? Like, People that aren't there, that high school you thought would be there, or people that are there, that high school you was like, oh yeah, we're, we're going to be friends forever. If you were able to talk to your past self at whatever age, go back to your high school years or your university years, or like just go back to pre-COVID years, or go back half your lifetime, whenever, if you were able to have ongoing conversations with your past self, what would you tell her to do differently, if anything, and why? Is this a power that you'd want to have or not, and why? Would you want to be able to see your future self and be able to change future you if you didn't like what you saw? Would you want to be able to have a conversation with your future self or your younger self? And how far into the future or the past would you want to be able to see and go? Or would you rather not know anything? What do you think? Do you think you would want to book club these books? I think they would be super fun. Um, let me know in the comments if you agree. And if you do book club them, let me know what questions got everybody talking. I would love to know. I think this would be such an interesting discussion. I actually keep bringing these questions up with people. And so if you want to get started on this conversation, then let's do it in the comments, right? Would you want to have this power? And if so, would you rather be able to look at your future Facebook page or would you rather be able to call your younger self? Which one would you want to be? Would you want to be Emma in the future of us, looking at your future Facebook page? Or would you want to be Debbie, senior Debbie, in Give Me a Call, and be able to call your past self? Which one would you want to have? Which superpower would you want to have? Let me know what you think. Um, I'll drop my answer in the comments too, so we can get this conversation going. That's all for now on the future of us 
and give me a call. But if you're a book lover who is always looking for books to recommend or discussion questions for books that your book club is reading, then you're in the right place. Every week, I share book reviews and book recommendations, including whether I think the book has enough good stuff to talk about it at book club. And if it does, I share some of the things I would want to talk about with my book club after reading it. If that sounds like something you need in your life, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you will be notified when I've got new videos available for you. You're in the right place. We read different. In the meantime, check out this video on Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Um, I fill you in on what the book is about and give you some book club discussion topics and questions. And if you're in a business owner's book club or a mastermind, or if you're in an artist or a creator's group, um, I've also included some special book club discussion topics and questions just for you because there are lots of things in this book that both of those specialty kinds of book clubs could be talking about as it relates to business and the creative process. So check it out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.